Welcome to Digital Toolbox. In this basic tutorial we're going to divide curves that we have made in Rhino and create lines based on those divisions and then pipe them. So here are some two two curves I've created in Rhino. They're uh, curvy in all axes and now we're going to set them in in Grasshopper. So parameters, I'll grab a, a basic curve and I'll copy it so we have one for each. Set one curve, right click, set one curve, and both of those are uh, set to these buttons. Now we're going to divide divide curves using the divide button. So under curve, divisions, there's a few different options for dividing. We'll just do divide curve into equal length segments. So we're going to need two of them and then C it asks for the curve to input and then N it'll ask for the number of segments so I'm going to double click and get a number slider uh, we'll play with a few different segments integers from uh, let's go from two, 1 to 15 okay and then we'll set the uh, that number into the N set the other curve C to that curve and then we'll use the same number of segments so you can see as we toggle the number of uh, divisions points populate on the on the curve and those give us new points on those curves so that comes out in the output under P division points so we'll just go under uh, curve primitive and get line and creates a line between two points A and B so we'll just take the first set of points into A and the second set of points into B and here you can see we have already a, a pretty interesting thing going uh, all these points are creating lines and those lines are creating their own geometry so we can highlight that those lines and uh, we could bake them or do whatever we want. We're going to go ahead and experiment with the pipe, the pipe command. So under surface freeform, there is pipe, just like the pipe in Rhino. Create a pipe surface around a rail curve. So we'll drag that down here, and it'll ask for C the base curve, and then R the pipe radius. So we'll take the the lines, and that's going to be our base curve and already you can see it uh, uses a radius of one is the default so we can just grab a number slider throw that into the radius and toggle away our own uh, pipe radius and now we can go back into Rhino and edit this curve and you can see that these pipes live update. And just to warn you, if you have a the the pipe button with lots of pipes going, you know you are at risk of just dropping your file or crashing your computer because the the pipe geometry seems to put a lot of uh, a lot of power. It seems to command a lot of memory. So just a warning. But that's it, the, div the divide commands, how to create a line from those divisions, and then a basic pipe.